Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my next update for my Panda Palette 2019 ABH subculture. I've actually been able to hit pan on another shade and expand the pan in all the shades that I already had pan in. So before we jump right into this really exciting halfway point update, Jesus, it is the, uh, the halfway point for this project. Let's see the progression of my palette over the past few updates. And this is my palette now. Look, we finally hit pan in Roxy right over here. And as you can see, I've expanded a pan in Rowdy, in Edge, in New Wave. I actually hit the top of the pan in Electric and I've hit that corner. All the product is gone right there in Dawn. This is really exciting. I wasn't expecting to hit pan in Rowdy, so not Rowdy in Roxy, duh, in Roxy so quickly because I've been working on it for a bit but I hadn't seen pan and I didn't think it'd be that close but there it is. I've expanded the pan tremendously in Rowdy because I have again been using it in my brows every day including today. It's a really nice quick way to just get my brows out of the way. It's nice. <laughs> I've expanded the pan in Electric, New Wave, and Edge by doing my favorite kind of go-to look. I'm actually not wearing that today. Today I'm only wearing one shade from this palette, which is Edge. I used it to deepen up my outer V, and the rest of the shades on my eyes actually come from the Natasha Denona Sunset palette, which I was tempted to reach for again after seeing the new Sunrise palette come out. I was like, I don't need that. I have Sunset. Let me get the Sunset palette out here. And the shades are actually really pretty but I did use the deeper yellow shade of edge to deepen out my outer corner and I like how the look came out. If I'm going to be completely honest I've still kind of avoided the shades that have still been giving me trouble up until this point this kind of L right here so Untamed, All Star, Mercury, and Axis. I haven't really touched them at all over this past month. Looking at this I think the next shade I will hit pan on if I work at it will be Destiny the kind of olive green shade right here because that's really the only other one I have a dip in other than fudge. I do have a dip in the middle of fudge as well, but I haven't really been reaching for fudge, so I don't know if I'm going to hit pan on that. I don't really want to like mark or make specific goals for the next month, even though I probably should since this is like the halfway point. We're halfway through this year and I have to finish this by the end of the year. Ooh, this got real. <laughs> so I think maybe I'll start making some more solid goals next month, but for this month, what I really just want to do is... What do I want to do? I want to get a little bit more use out of Fudge. It is a neutral brown shade that I should be able to reach for every day, and I want to see how far I can get with Destiny, because if I could hit pan on that by the next update, I would be very happy. And of course, I do want to expand the pan on everything that I already have pan in. If you have any experience using those darker shades, like right here that I've mentioned that I'm having issues with, please let me know how you use them, how you like to use them, what other palettes that you'd like bringing in. Because if it's anything that I've learned, it's that it also is very helpful to bring in other palettes. Like for this look, bringing in the Sunset palette from Natasha Denona helped me get a little bit more use out of Edge than I probably would have otherwise. So thank you guys so much for watching this update of my Pan That Palette. Let me know down below if you're also doing a Pan That Palette, how your Pan That Palette is coming along, and if you're also kind of freaking out because it's the halfway point. It's the halfway point. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.